to draw a poodle in a miniature portrait. Reference image is in the link below. The eyes are nice and round for the poodles, so you just want to and kind of incorporate that as well as a little bit of the hair kind of coming over the eyes. A lot of poodles eyes are usually covered up by the fur, but for this one I definitely wanted to kind of bring down some of that fur just to be sure. Now moving on to the ears here, you can see on the left hand side that I'm leaving room for some of the white areas like the highlighted parts on the ear. That's really, really important because with color pencils, you can't really draw white on top of dark. So using lighter colors such as light blues, light cool and warm grays will really get you a long way. You can also use a white color pencil to burnish on top once you've built up enough layers. What that does is it creates a nice waxy coating over the top of all the uh, colors that you've applied and then you can start to add more detail over the top and all of the pencils that you apply afterwards have a much sharper, more detailed look. I get a lot of questions about drawing white fur, so I hope I'm gonna do my best here to explain how to actually draw white fur on here. So I'm using a little bit of some grays, like the um, like a greenish gray color. That's really important too because there's a lot of green that's actually being reflected in pretty much all animals. So it is important to kind of incorporate some green tones and then a little bit of some purple grays as well. So like the raw umbers, this uh, light sepia kind of colors, all of those are really helpful to building up layers for uh, more of a white kind of fur. You can also use a slice tool to etch in some of the little stray hairs that makes the portrait look even more alive when you have a little bit of some strands kind of just jutting out here and there. I really enjoy drawing pink no noses because they're just, they're just absolutely adorable and I get to play around with different colors on there. So I'm using a little bit of some pink, a little bit of some um, red in there too actually, and then a little bit of some purple. Those are all just really really helpful to making the uh, nose pop a little bit more and pay attention to the highlights and the lowlights in the nose too that way it gives a nice contrast if you're interested in learning to draw too you can also sign up for my learn to draw your own pet portrait program that will be linked down below so the top of the mouth here the muzzle area you can see that there's kind of a fountain effect that's happening i am drawing left to right here but What's really important here is to emphasize the direction of the fur. So this is kind of has a little bit of some wonky fur going here and there, especially when you're drawing more of that curly type of fur. You definitely want to emphasize that. And then you can use a slice tool to kind of etch away some of those dry hairs once again. So this is a small portrait. So you definitely want to keep your pencils nice and sharp if you're drawing smaller. That really, really does help to 